Hey everybody, got an update on the rollback. We got her going. Ta-da! Now don't that look so much better than that other tank? Hopefully the camera will pick it up. It looks kind of crooked in this camera for me looking through it, but it ain't, I promise you. I took a level to that and made sure that was dead level and I didn't weld it out here. I took it up to Buddy Dow's shop up the road where he's got a level slab and borrowed his welder and stuff. That way I knew I'd get it level, so. But, that looks a whole lot better than that other deal. I mean, look at that. See my reflection in there. But it is nice. We've got the hoses and everything all hooked up. I've still got to get the sending unit hooked up right here. It, uh, the switch inside is giving me fits in the dash. And I've got to go get a switch. I've got a parts truck, but I ain't got that far yet. But got the filler neck, that. We've got the vent and everything hooked up. The, before somebody says something, you'll notice the straps are... A little bit more on this side than this side. The way the the top of the tank was built and the way the frame of the truck was, that was about as good as I could get it. I really wanted it, you know, dead center on each end of the other to make it level. To please my OCD, but I couldn't do it either. Trust me, I tried. But that, uh, that was as good as I could get it and still have it with the truck frame and get it stable and all that, so... Before someone says something, I figured I'd mention that so the keyboard warriors don't get on me too hard. But uh, you gotta admit, this is way better than the other deal. That was a cobbled up mess. And while we're at it, still got the floorboard to go, but I'm working on it. Got the fuel pump. Make sure it's in neutral. Off the key. Look at that. Now, ain't that nice? Pop the hood. It way better. There you go, folks. Look at that. She's in there running and just uh, purring like a kitten. Got the, everything hooked up and got the wires all fixed. And we've got, I put new plugs, wires, give it a tune up. They were horrible. I've got this in here running. I got it timed. I might have to clean the carburetor one more time. I think it got a little bit more trash in it, but it's it's still pretty smooth, so. But I think, like I said, I, that's about as good as I could get it, and I think there's a little bit of trash in it, so I probably need to clean it one more time. But hey, it starts off the key. There's no jumping back and forth with a jump bar of the tank like we had it before, so. But it is sitting there running good, and I am happy, happy. And I got the bre a breather put on it. And we got the ATI stuck in her and she's just working like a champ. I, I love that right there. That is simple wiring harness. But it's, it's working good, it's running good. So, figure I'd give everybody an update on this whole thing. And we got the tank fixed. It's so much better. I'm just absolutely thrilled to death. I'm gaining on it. So, and I got the fuel pump and everything mounted down here on the frame. Got it hooked up right there. Yes, that's a wing nut. I did that for a reason. I like them set up that way. That way if one goes out on the side of the road, you can take a wing nut to it, wing nut it back. It's right on the frame. And it's it's easy to fix in a bind. So that's just from past experience why I set them up that way. So it's looking a lot better than it was. It's starting off the key. So let me show you the bed. Let's get in here and uh, get the PTO kicked in. Need to get the fast idle hooked up still, but I'll show you the tank a little bit too. But you can see her moving on back. And for the new subscribers turning in, there's some videos of this getting fixed. If I can remember it, I'll put them at the end of this video. There she goes, right off the back. Eh, I got too much stuff. But anyway, there you go. There's the new tank. Got the vent hooked up, got it over here to a filter to keep mud daubers and stuff out of it. Got it mounted to the back of the frame. <clears throat> I got all the fuel lines hooked up. I called Landall and they give me a parts list. I'm going to look up some new pins. This one's broke and I was just going to re-weld it and uh, kind of fix it, but it's pretty worn on the sides. And they said they had replacement parts for this, so I'm probably going to order a new pin here and probably one right there. But it's all working, 
and got the tank going. That's that 19 gallon tank I told everybody about. And for the subscribers that don't know on this deal, let's show how this frame works. This is a centerfold record for everybody just tuning in. Frame breaks in two. You step back and you can see it. Actually splits right there in the middle. So, that's pretty neat. I had never seen one until I got this one, so all the new subscribers can see it there. And we'll be using this dragging in tractors and all kinds of other stuff, so that's why I got it. Been wanting one for years, finally got one, so. But, I'm thrilled to death. We're getting close. Got just a few little deals to the finish, but there's the cam set up for everybody that ain't seen it. It'll just go right back down. Pretty, pretty neat deal. And then we'll bring the bed back up and cover all this up. Just a second, get where I can see, but. And we're gaining, folks. I'm just about there. Okay. This is bent up here on this bar, too. I've got to get it bent out and straightened a little bit. But, And I've got uh, the winch is working, but I've got to get the cable in it and then run it to the back. So, But I'm pretty thrilled, folks. It is sitting there running, running good. It starts off the key. And uh, I've got to get the brakes fixed. They work, but whoever had this they blocked off the brake line on that side. That side ain't even hooked up. So, probably got a leaky wheel cylinder, but we'll get it fixed and get all this done. They did put brand new brake calipers on the front of this, surprisingly. So, so we'll get this all took care of. This old girl's getting close. And uh, I gotta get some tires on it. They're horrible, but we're gaining. I'm thrilled to death. So, one last lesson for you. Sitting there purring. Oh, running like a top. So, I figured I'd give everybody an update that subscribed for the record and the rollback stuff. This thing is about 70%. I've got a little bit to go. I've got the fuel tank in, obviously, and it's running on its own. The HEI's in. I gotta get the winch cable on and put up. And it's just miserable hot right now. I'm probably sweating like crazy, but um we we just about got it there. I gotta get the cable on and stuff, and I'm, hopefully I can get those pins and get them replaced. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and order a wind four barrel intake for this and put on, I've got a real good Edelbrock car about there. And don't even go there with the Hollies. I hate them, I've had them before someone mentions that. That's personal preference, everybody's got one. But I'm thinking about putting that intake on and that really good Edelbrock car, but I gotta get rid of this two barrel motor craft, so that's probably going to be the next stage in the floors so but we're gaining so that's just kind of an update so we're going to keep you posted and that's it for this video so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you on the next video bye